What's up, everybody? Before you ask, no, I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the parking lot of a restaurant waiting on my carryout food. Um, today's been a good day. We had a town hall on faculty affairs to discuss race relations at my medical school. Went very well. I got all dressed up for it. And you know what that means. Anytime I get dressed up, time for another quick hitting high yield review of a medical topic in five minutes or less. For those of y'all who are new to this, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that like button if you like this kind of content. So today's topic goes out, is dedicated to my second year medical students who this past week asked me about calcium channel blockers. So this is going to be a quick, easy one, way less than five minutes. So calcium channel blockers, there's two different kinds, right? We think about these as being blood pressure medications, but two different kinds to think about. The first one are your centrally acting calcium channel blockers. Think center, the center of the body, think about the heart. So the, the two most common centrally acting calcium channel blockers that you're going to hear about are verapamil and diltiazem. So those are available both, both in the oral and in the IV route. So the way those medicines work is they work through blocking that AV node. They slow down your heart rate, lower your blood pressure and contractility, kind of similar to beta blockers. The main side effect to be aware of is constipation. They love to ask you about that on test. So these medicines, again, can be used orally. They've become available in short-acting forms that are immediate release, and they also come as long-acting forms that you can take once a day. And again, like I mentioned earlier, they do come as the IV route as well. So if somebody has an emergency, especially like an atrial arrhythmia, like atrial fibrillation, these can be used in stable situations to slow that heart rate down. Now, let's move to the ones that act in the periphery, the peripheral calcium channel blockers. These are known as dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, also known as DHPs. You may see it sometimes written as DHPCCB. So the dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers work out in the periphery. They pretty much cause direct vasodilation in the, in the arteries out in the periphery. So as a result of that, they do not slow down the heart rate like the centrally acting calcium blockers. They just pretty much lower your blood pressure. But some of the side effects to think about with that direct vasodilation, patients who are prone to migraine may have increased headaches because of that increased blood flow. And also people can also get swelling in their legs as well as a result of that direct vasodilation. And the last thing to be aware of is that when you first start these medicines, sometimes people will get a little bit of orthostasis. In other words, when they go to stand up, they'll get lightheaded or dizzy, sometimes can even pass out. So think about those direct vasodilators that dilates even the arteries that go to the brain. You go to stand up, a little bit of help from gravity, wide open pipes, blood drops down, not enough perfusion to your brain, pass out. The newer uh, calcium channel blockers like amlodipine, which is also known as Norvasc, those don't cause as much of that orthostasis as some of the older ones like nifedipine, which is also called Procardia as a trade name. So, so far in summary, what, what do we have? Our centrally acting calcium channel blockers, verapamil, diltiazem. Main side effect to know about is constipation. The way it works, slow down the heart rate, also lower your blood pressure as well. Available in PO, by mouth, or IV, intravenous. Um, the IV form is usually used for stable atrial arrhythmias, things like atrial fibrillation and somebody who's stable when you want to slow their heart rate down if they're in a rapid ventricular rhythm. As far as the other category, your dihydropyridine or DHP calcium channel blockers, that's anything that ends in the word depine. So amlodipine, nifedipine, philodipine. They work out in the periphery. They pretty much work by direct vasodilation. So they open up those blood vessels. They lower your heart rate, but un I mean, lower your blood pressure. But unlike the centrally, centrally acting calcium channel blockers, they do not lower your heart rate. The main side effects from those are peripheral edema or leg swelling. And they also can cause headaches and some orthostasis. And there you have it. Calcium channel blockers in five minutes or less. I'll see you soon.